So humans are do so many <laughs> horrible, terrible, wrong, crazy things. And one of them is we dissect medicine into separate segments and we don't blend them, right? So like, acupuncture is great for certain things. Massage therapy is great for certain things. A dietitian, herbal medicine, conventional medicine. Like if we were like, what is best for the patient? Like for me, like a medical system would be amazing if people understood their own talents and how other skills work. So I would say the Ithaca Free Clinic is a mixed modality clinic offering both conventional and less conventional services for free uh, for anybody who is interested. The Ithaca Free Clinic uh, grew out of uh, something called the Ithaca Hours, and those things were based on trying to make Ithaca more self-reliant. And here's how I got involved. So I, had a, I have a good friend who's an herbalist, and one day she's saying, you know, we have this thing that we're doing, where we're getting together and trying to open a free clinic, and Seven cynics, saw, seven cynics here, thought, no way. Like, nobody's gonna, like, they're not gonna have herbalists to open up a free clinic. And it took her like a month or two to convince me. And I went to a meeting and it was exactly that. It was a group of people of conventional practitioners, doctors, nurses, nurse practitioners, people who worked at the hospital, mostly reception. So not like the CEOs, but people who worked in the hospital and saw a need for this. And then there was massage therapists and some well, maybe alternative or holistic practices. And so I went to a meeting and I was like, damn, this thing is really happening. And so that was uh, 2005. And I basically have stayed involved ever since. I'm the last person who's been involved in the early meetings. And so definitely having worked at the free clinic, I feel like I have a much better sense of conventional medicine and herbal medicine work often very well together within the parameters of critical thinking. You know, in other words, not always enough for everything. On a personal level, I think one of the things that I often offer people or I hope to offer people is being a bridge between the more conventional medicine and the less conventional medicine. A lot of people really don't have a good understanding of the different courses of treatment that they can have. And as somebody who studies physiology, pathophysiology, anatomy, for people who are interested in this, I would like to have them to understand more about what's going on in their body. If people understand a little bit what's going on and the choices offered, it gives them more agency. And the one thing our modern system doesn't do, modern system has a bunch of flaws. So I definitely separate the modern system from the practitioners. A modern system with its very speedy consultations offers people almost zero agency. They just, people are told what to do. They're not really told much more depth. You could have an excellent doctor, but the system is set up where that is less true. So one thing that I would like to do if you're asking about you know, services is I would help the patients or individuals with their agency and understanding things so they can make choices or put them in touch with people that can help them make choices with their health care. I want to point out if people are watching this and want to see me at the Ithaca Free Clinic, you can, but here's the stipulation. Uh, we don't send medicines. So anybody who wants to have a consultation, I mean, I see a lot of people who don't live in Ithaca and the consultation is free, um, but we just we just don't send medicine. Way too complicated, way too expensive. If you're in Ithaca though, hello Ithaca and Tompkins County people and people living around here, uh, if you live nearby, we make you your medicines and they're free and the refills are free, so 